Today's video tidbit is talking about race and discrimination with children. Did you know as early as three to six months of age, babies begin to notice and express preference by race? Between the ages of three and five, children begin to apply stereotypes, categorize people by race, and express racial bias. White Northern American children begin to report negative explicit attitudes towards people of color as early as age three. And by age three, children also use racist language intentionally and use it to create social hierarchies, evoke emotional reactions in people of color and produce harmful results. By six years of age, Children demonstrate a pro-white, anti-black bias. Adolescents, when looking at black people's faces, show higher levels of activity in the area of the brain known for its fight-flight reactions. To counter racist socialization and racial bias, experts recommend acknowledging and naming race and racism with children as early and as often as possible. Children's books are one of the most effective and practical tools for initiating these critical conversations and can be used to model what it means to resist and dismantle oppression. Beyond addressing issues of race and racism, this children's reading list focuses on taking action. It highlights resistance, resilience and activism, and seeks to empower youth to participate in the ongoing movement for racial justice. Children not only need to know what individual, institutional, and internalized racism looks like, they need to know what they can do about it. A children's book list for anti-racist activism. These books showcase the many ways people of all ages and races have worked to disrupt racism and highlight how race intersects with other issues such as capitalism, class, and colonialization. The majority of the books center on Black Indigenous people of color whose lives and bodies have been on the front lines of racial justice work, yet whose stories often go untold. The essential work of white activists is also included to underscore that anti-racist work is not the responsibility of Black Indigenous people of color and exemplify ways white people have stood up against racial injustice. This list was curated by critical literacy organizations, The Conscious Kid, and American Indians in Children's Literature. The link in the list is in the video description below. Something Happened in Our Town by Marianne Solano, Marietta Collins, and Anne Hazard, illustrated by Jennifer Zavoyan. Something Happened in Our Town follows two families, one white, one black as they discuss the police shooting of a black man in their community. The story aims to answer children's questions about such traumatic events and to help children identify and counter racial, racial injustice in their own lives. Included is an extensive note to parents and caregivers with guidelines for discussing race and racism with children, child-friendly definitions, and sample dialogues. It's meant for ages four through eight watch a read-along video uh, on the YouTube link in the description. I Am Enough by Grace Byers, illustrated by Katura A. Bobo. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. The little girl in this story shines like the sun. She sings, soars, and stands like the mountains. Like the winner, I'm here to win. And if I don't, get up again. She is strong and smart and loving and kind, but most importantly, she is herself, and that will always be enough. Harper Collins Publishing has a great discussion guide and activity. The activity allows kids to celebrate each other's differences. Look for this activity linked in our tidbit and description. I have provided a few other book lists in our video description. We have books that are coloring books, books that are introducing race and ethnicity, books in multiple languages, books with children with autism as the main character, and so many more to help represent and reflect the diversity in your communities. 
Happy reading. What I've realized since is that it's a very painful process, but it is not destructive. It's, it's the world of deliberation. And what really happened in the 60s was that this country took just the first step toward admitting that it had been wrong on race. And creativity burst out in all directions.